ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ሶ ሌትስ ሪፍሬሽ ዘ ፕሪቪየስ ዲስከሽን ኢን ኢንዱስትሪያል ማርኬት there are different types of uh, demand the first demand is drive demand the demand for industrial product is as a result of the demand for you know other products or drive demand is the demand as a result of having another product uh joint demand indicates or describes the demand for you know various products as a result of you know the need for one product the need for a finished product requires the need for raw materials the need for you know uh, parts and components as well as intermediary products so in this case you know, uh, there are also price sensitivity in industrial markets so from our previous discussion what does it mean price sensitivity price sensitivity uh, price sensitivity mean na አሁን አንድ ፕሮዳክት ፕሮዲስ በመናረግበት ጊዜ ፕራይስ ሴት ይደረጋል እና ያን ፕሮዳክቱ ፕራይሱ ሃይ ከሆነ ካስተመሩ ያለው ዲማንድ ሎ ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ያ ካስተመራችን ፕራይስ ላይ ሴንሲቲቭ ናቸው ማለት ነው the response of customers towards the price okay uh, we are talking about uh industrial product there are two types of product generally consumer product and industrial products now we are talking about the demand for industrial product industrial products are classified as raw materials components and capital items as well as you know supplies so the need for industrial product depends on you know the price depending on the price if the change in price bring you know uh different impact in you know the quantity to be purchased we can say you know there is price sensitivity so to what extent the price change will you know bring a quantity change so generally industrial product demand is you know inelastic you know elasticity the extent the extent of you know stretching the extent or the range of you know a stretch so if you change a 1% price the change could be either increasing or decreasing the change if it brings more than 1% change in quantity so we can say it's more elastic if the price change is the same as the quantity change it's unitary elastic unitary means if the change is the same so quantity change divided by the price change would be 1 this could be elasticity so if you know the ratio is 1 we can say it's unitary elastic unitary means simply 
the change is the same. If you change one price, I mean, the change in price, 1%, so the quantity could be one. So in this case, this is unitary. But if the price changes 1%, and the quantity change could be less than 1%, this type of demand or elasticity is known as inelastic. So whatever your price is changed, so whatever the price is changed, if the quantity is you know uh, less than one percent change, so we can say this is price insensitive. Price insensitive. So generally industrial product is inelastic, price inelastic, which means less sensitive. So to know the price sensitivity, so we can take price elasticity. If the change or the elasticity of the price or if the price is changing by one percent so the quantity to be demanded or to be purchased is less than one percent this is generally you know true for industrial products so in this case from this we can conclude that industrial product is price inelastic the change is less than one percent So price sensitivity is an individual difference for I'm describing how individual consumers show their reaction to change in price level. So that's price sensitivity. So the change in price, now as compared with the change in quantity, if the quantity changes is less than the quantity of the price changed, so the, the industrial product is inelastic. So price sensitivity, the awareness of consumers to what they perceived about the cost with which they will buy a particular product or service. Since price depends on, you know, or when we set a price, you know, the best should be you know, the cost. So at the cost of the production of a particular product is high, definitely the price would be high. So in this case, customers, yes. Okay, no damage. Thank you. So, uh, Price sensitivity is simply, you know, the responses of a customer toward this a price change. Price change. If customers are sensitive toward this, you know, small level of change in price, so the demand or the demand for that product would be high. So in this case, this type of uh, price sensitivity is high price elasticity or the product has high price elasticity if the ratio is more than one but in industrial product industrial customers are not price sensitive which means you know if there is high change in the price so there is a little change in or you no know, smaller change in quantity demanded. Or sometimes some industrial products are, you know, has inverse price elasticity. Inverse. Inverse means as quantity increase, I mean as price increase, the quantity demanded will increase also. This is a little bit reverse in a normal circumstance. There are uh, some, uh, you know, characteristics of industrial product. Industrial product is, you know, uh, has inverse, inverse price elasticity. As 
the price of the product decrease, the quantity demanded will also decrease. As you know, the price increase, so the quantity will also increase. This relationship is known as inverse price elasticity. You know, there are three types of elasticity. Price elasticity, which is direct elasticity, cross price elasticity. This is as a result of, you know, uh, industrial products are substitute products, has substitute product. As a result of, you know, the change in price in substitute product, so there would be change in the main product. So the change in, you know, X product has an effect on the change in Y product. There are two products you can take. The change in one product will have an effect on another uh, demands of you know, X or Z product. So in this case, if the relationship between two products has inverse or negative relationship, so that could be cross elasticity. So in this case, you know, uh, customer's perception of price and their response to the price indicates whatever or whether the market is very price sensitive or not, depending on the perception. If there is a smaller change in price, there would be a high quantity change or high quantity demanded or low quantity demanded. So this would be high price sensitivity. So if you make high change in price, if there is no change in quantity demanded, so that could be you know, price inelastic. So industrial products or industrial product demand is inelastic. This inelastic demand situation where price in or change in price have little effect on demand. That's known as inelastic. So obviously industrial product has inelastic demand or uh, less price sensitive. So there are different pricing strategies that uh, you know uh, receive a great deal of attention by different scholars. So uh, price elasticity is an aggregate effect, not a, a single or individual product effect. So we can consider price elasticity, price elasticity or price sensitivity is measured in terms of aggregate response of the market. Aggregate. Aggregate means the summation of all customers towards a price. So you can take, you know, a simple or a single individual's response. If you take, if you take this one, this may not you know, describe the true nature of the price elasticity of demand. So in this case, price elasticity of demand for industrial product is an aggregate response of all customers. So this is cross elasticity of demand. Cross that indicates the change in one, one product price will have, you know, an impact on the sales of another product. Another product. So in this case, the price changing, let me give you one brief example. The price in you know, a normal circumstance, a normal or a competitive market. Let me give you the relationship between two products. What the relationship between uh, fuel and car? Is there any relationship? And let me give you the price change in fuel 
does it bring change in the demand of the car? Give me a precise, short answer. Anyone? Change in price of fuel. Does it bring any change in the quantity demanded for cars? Okay. Let me say it again. It has been worded now. You make it now. Let me say it. Let us see what it. You make it now. Flag. Did you remember? Where is it? Can you say? Can you say? Let us see. Can you say? Can you say? Can you say? Can you say? Nadaj dalam sarjana zaman, nak haya mana umbermu, mana beli na, wadah serbuk digera. Ia macam na selagu ti cemeral boleh sih kan masal. Cemeral. Ia cemeral. Selesai. The change in fuel, the change in price in fuel, you know, has an effect on the demand of car or the number of. Cars demanded. So in this case, the relationship between the price of fuel and the the demand of car has you know cross elasticity, cross elasticity. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, no, that, yeah, no, that's what I'm at. I'm yet to do the bit meta. No more with you now. Make it now, but I'm Marcus with you now. And it's true. Or in normal circumstances, you know, never resume the relationship. But you, not as you would do, but you know, you would do, you would do. And then the is there in that relationship? So normally, para reverse price in last year, reverse. Lamsali, yes, of course, I'll be worded. Yes, of course, I'll be worded. Let it be. This is a consumer market, of course. You could not have been in there. Nyagarst. Why did you say Maralan? Lazi, is there a relationship, Simon? Muniana? In the reverse, reverse, reverse price elasticity, but the reverse. We can have price and quantity between the natural relationship inverse. No, we just marry. Take the new relationship, but change inverse. No, let me say, yeah, you put no gas in chamber. Now what? I mean, yeah, so far no gas in canvas. You put no demand in the new one. You can say. Demand we can say. So the inverse relation for normal goods in the large amount, except for luxury products. Since luxury product or industrial product sometimes has price in elastic, regardless of the change in price, the quantity will not change. Or if there is a change, the change is very few. As compared with the price, so cross elasticity, uh, the responsiveness of sales of one product to the price change of other product. So this relationship between two product price change or the other product price will have an effect on other. Product demand. So in this case, this is known as price. I mean, uh, cross elasticity. So uh, let's see an example of this kind of demand estimated. We can say an industrial market, steel and aluminium. The quantity of steel. Demanded is closely related to its close substitute for aluminium. These two products are you not know, closely substituted. Close. So in this case, if if you want to you know uh, replace or if the price of aluminium is decreased, 
So what's the quantity of steel, increased or decreased? These two products are you know, substitute products. You can substitute a product or aluminum with steel, since they are industrial product. So in this case, since these two products are substitute products, you know, substitute product, you can use either of the two alternatively, you can use. So in this case, if the price change in aluminium is decreased, what would be the quantity demanded for steel? Increased or decreased? Increase. The quantity. So in this case, as a result of the price changing steel, so the demand for aluminium is also changed depending on the change in price, increase or either decrease. If it increase, you know, substitute product will, you know, the demand decrease. If the product, I mean, the price for steel is decreased, you know, the quantity for aluminum also, you know, increased. So in this case, there is a relationship between these two products. So the change in one price or the change in one product price will have an effect on the demand of another product. This is known as cross elasticity. So this cross elasticity is also, you know, uh, studied in receiver or merchandisers. So this uh, selling the different types of uh, products, like the market in dyeing and uh, chemical market, industrial chemicals are you know, machine accessories and so on. So within this, so we uh, end our discussion on the basis of industrial marketing, and the next page we we'll discuss you know, the classification. I know. Uh, we have been discussed the classifications of uh, different uh, sensitivities. So we can classify sensitivity in at least three ways. One, price sensitivity one, which is if the change has, you know, uh, one percentage change in price, will bring more than 1% change in price. I mean, demand is known as price sensitivity one. Price sensitivity two, unitary elasticity and inelastic. Inelastic could be another form of uh, elasticity. So uh, price sensitivity one, most industrial goods are price inelastic price in elastic. Why they are price in elastic? Since they are driving demand. Driving. You know, the demand for industrial product is driving demand. Demand as a result of having another product. So the change in one product will not have you know, much effect as compared with consumer market. So a significant change in the price of capital goods may not affect its demand. So regardless of the price. So capital goods or, you know, the classification of uh, industrial goods or industrial products, raw material, component, and the capital items. So the change in capital item will not have you know, much effect on the demand of that product. So in this case, you know, the demand, since it is derived by demand, so the price sensitivity is inelastic. Sometimes a significant reduction in price of domestic capital goods may help increase their demand. So at the expense of the second-hand imported capitals, but this 
uh, sometimes as compared with substitute goods. Domestic products may be substitute with you know, imported goods. So a significant reduction in price in capital goods, local capital goods or domestic capital goods. So may not increase the quantity, but we can shift the users from imported product to uh, the local product. So this is a kind of you know, uh, market implication. But when we see the general industrial product, it's price in elastic. The general industrial goods or product. But when we see specific company's product or specific firm product, so maybe you know, price elastic. Future the price, the demand for that product in that company could be decreased. Or if you decrease the price, the quantity would increase. But the cumulative effect of all industrial products could be inelastic. So in many instances, the reverse price elasticity is also observed in respect of demand for industrial product. So what does it mean a reverse and when a reverse price elasticity is observed or occur in industrial market? When a reverse price elasticity is observed in industrial product, when reverse elasticity, I'll give you five marks, seriously. As we have seen earlier, as we have seen earlier, uh, there are different types of you know, elasticity, cross elasticity, or direct elasticity, or simply price elasticity, and reverse elasticity. So price elasticity, you know, there are three types of elasticity. High elasticity, unitary elasticity, and elasticity in last city. Cross last city, simple, as a result of other product. Ask me, me never. I'll give you five months, wait a minute. Let's go to the jail, Andy. Uh, so an industrial product, an industrial product, uh, reverse in that price in that city can be observed. Can be observed. When this reverse price elasticity is observed, or in which situation this price in reverse price elasticity is observed? Let me say uh, reverse price elasticity, my chain of Mikasato, my chain. What about cross elasticity? Cross. On a negative equal load, reverse price elasticity. Reverse. 
አሁን አንቺ ክሮስ ያልሹት እግልሽ ክሮስ ኢላስቲሲቲ ባላል ክሮስ ፕራይስ ኢላስቲሲቲ ባላል ገን ሪቨርሱ መቼ ነው ይከሰተው ነው በኢንዱስትሪያል ፕሮዳክት ኦኬ ሌትስ ፖዚ So first you have to define what's a reverse price in that city. Si bada bi misama khona min alwat melsachutu liwo chilat sal samay no lene. Ni turkachutu bi sachigra masale. Asi a uh, uh, reverse price in that city mana min malat no si kedim discuss argelachu allo min alba tu tastawuzut ko mana reverse in elastic city malat price entin yon and price entin bezamara kutu weim substitute affect bemenu beti ku mesane substitute cash cross in that city de miyedish ihe gen በ አንድ ፕሮዳክት እና በዋጋው ብቻ ያለ ሪሌሽንሺፕ በዋጋውና በኳንቲቲ ብቻ ማለት ነው በሁለት ፕሮዳክቶች ሳብስቲትዩት ዲፋይን ተራቦት ከሆነ ያንዱ ፕሮዳክት የሌላኛው ኳንቲቲ አፌክት የሚያደርገው ከሆነ ክሮስ ይባላል ክሮስ ላት ሲቲ ሪቨርስ ግን ምን መሰላችሁ ኮይን ኢየስ አው አሁን ይሰማል እሺ ያን ይሰማል አሁን አሁን ይሰማል እሺ ጋር እስኪ ዋይፋይ ያስቸገረኝ ስለሆነ ነው እንት ቀደም ያልከው የሚመስለኝ ቀደም ላይ አሁን መኪና ዋጋ የፊውል ዋጋ ሲጨምር የመኪና ዋጋ አብሮ ከጨመረ የሚለው መሰለኝ ከዚህኛው የሚቀርበ አሁን ላልከው እሺ እሺ ያ ኖርማሊ ሳብስቲትዩት ፕሮዳክት ካልን አንዱም ባንዱ መተካስ እንችል ነው የሁለ ፕሮዳክቶች ዋጋ ከሆነ ደግሞ ድራይቭ ዲማንድ ይባላል ድራይቭ ለምሳሌ የፊውል ዋጋ ሲጨምር የፊውል ኳንቲቲ የመግዛት ዋጋቸው የሚጨምር ዋጋው ሲጨምር የመንገዛው ኳንቲቲ የሚጨምር ከሆነ ይሄ reverse price elasticity ባላ reverse ለምሳሌ ይሄ የሚከሰትበት ዋናው ምክንያት ለአጭር ጊዜ ነው ግን ለረጅም ጊዜ ነው it's a short term phenomenon or short run phenomenon this is because of you know uh, inflation or deflation ለምሳሌ ያንድ ቀዋጋ ኢንዱስትሪያል ፕሮዳክት ሆኖ ለቁ ዋጋው ሲጨምር ኳንቲቲ በብዛት ይገዛል ለምን ወደፊት ከዚህ በለጠ በጣም ሊጨምር ይችላል ተብሎ ስለሚታሰብ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ as the price increase the quantity demanded will increase this is as a result of inflation as a result of inflation this phenomenon is a short term phenomenon short term አው ላጭር ጊዜ ማለት ነው ይሄ ሁሉ ጊዜ ማለት ነው ለሽ ይነበራ ሾርቴጅ ኮ መልሽ ይነበር ጌታም በየክ ነበር ለዛ ኔትወርክ ወደም ስለማይሰማይ ማንሽ ጽገረዳ ዳነኛ ሾርቴጅ ሲያጋጥ በየክ ነበር ቀደም እሺ ጽገረዳ ለምሳሌ ሾርቴጅ ሲያጋጥም ወይም ኢንፍሌሽን ሲኖር ዋጋው ቢጨምር ምናልባት ከዚህ በለጠ ሊጨምር ይችላል ብለን ስለምናስብ ኳንቲቲው ምን ይጨምራልን ማለት ሌላው ደግሞ ምናልባት ዲማንድ ይጨምራል ማለት ነው ያ ዲማንድ ይጨምራል ግን ይሄ ምንድነው አሁን ከኖርማል ሰርከምስታንስ ይወጣ ኖርማሊ ፕራይስ ይጨምር ምንድነው ኳንቲቲው ይሄ ነው ይቀንሳል አይደለ አት ኖርማል ሰርከምስታንስ ግን የዚህ ሪቨርስ ነው በተቃራኒ ፕራይስ ይጨምር ኳንቲቲ ይጨምራል ማለት ነው ለምሳሌ ከዚህ በፊት የመንገዛው የቃዋጋ በተቃራኒው ደግሞ ለምሳሌ ዋጋው ቢቀንስ ዋጋው ቢቀንስ 
ኳንቲቲም ሊሆን ይችላል ሊቀንስ ይችላል ምን በማሰብ ማለት ነው ከዚህ የበለጠ ወደፊት ይቀንሳል ብሎ በማሰብ ማለት ስለዚህ እነዚህ ሪሌሽንሺፕ ምን ይባላሉ ሪቨርስ ፕራይስ ኢላስቲሲቲ ይባላል ግን ይሄ ሎንግ ተርም አይደለም what you have to know here is this reverse price elasticity is a short term phenomenon short term phenomenon but uh, several industrial products are not characterized by cross cross elasticity of demand which imply that the demand of a product is affected by the price of it substitutes the price so this is for several uh, industrial products so uh, as we have seen reverse elasticity and cross elasticity we discussed the, uh, in the previous uh, topic so uh, demand for industrial product is drive demand this is to summarize you know this chapter so telescopic marketing strategy that which aims at you know promoting demand for products in boarding so there are different types of strategy in industrial market so one of the uh, best strategy to promote the demands of embodying product or product uh, with close relationship is telescopic marketing strategy so you may be asked uh, to check whether you, are, you understand or not the industrial market so what type of strategies you know employed in uh, industrial market to promote the demand of embodied uh, products so the best strategy is telescopic strategy so price sensitivity reverse price elasticity and cross elasticity of demand are very often observed to apply for industrial goods this three types of concepts are you know observed or applied in uh, industrial goods so industrial marketers should hence be well aware of the threat and opportunities and be innovative to protect his or her market and it and to other so in this case industrial market so if you were a marketer you have to know what are uh, the threats and opportunities you have to know you know marketing environment this marketing environment you know may provide an opportunity or pose a threat and be innovative be creative to protect the market this is how uh, industrial market you know related ways demand what's the demands of uh, industrial market direct demand or direct demand industrial demand or industrial product direct demand. demand this demand is comes from uh, any question any question with regard to industrial product demand start at the in elastic city sometimes the type of sent in a barrel uh basically sent a message mikafol besosta no besos ikafolu ለምሳሌ ፕራይስ ኢላስቲሲቲ ሜጀር በታረጁ ቼንጂንግ ፕራይስ አለ ቼንጂንግ ኳንቲቲ አለ ስለዚህ ቼንጂንግ ኳንቲቲ ዊዝ ሪስፔክት ቱ ቼንጂንግ ፕራይስ አንድ ከሆነ ልክ አንድ ፐርሰንት ፕራይስ ቼንጅ ሳረጊ በአንድ ፐርሰንት 
quantity change me a and the person is carefully land and the metal wallet. Ratio one in metal. Price elasticity of demand and the metal wallet. So that's it. And the corner unitary price elasticity balance. Unit unitary wallet and the wallet. Unit wallet and the wallet. Unitary wallet. Good. And the percent price change moves. Quantity of hundred percent balance. Kahone centennial wallet no. And not kind of an ional market. Basically, uh, price elastic in balance, elastic. Elastic in balance, market no. Change you get under percent price change average. Quantity you can the percent batash kameta, sikafel ratio can the batash metal. Zero point something may metal market. Price in that city. So let's basically say mini baral here uh, in elastic baral in elastic. You might let that mallet. Let's go to the capital wallet. But the merch cafablo mabrer y chalal. National Aviation College, the National Airways at Kubania. Kakaftanya to Murtagab not not ratigency, Muluk and Nanabagan Yenabacho. The Master's Degree, MBA, the Strategic Management, MBA, the Banking and Finance, MBA, the Business Leadership, MBA, the Risk and Insurance, MSC, the International Trade and Economics Zerfoch, Bok at Lemakras, Yabaku Professor Chachin, Aranguadi Mabrata Chonabratal. በነገራችንላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራሱንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ ህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን አሁን ያደርጋል so chapter 3 deals about you know the buying behavior of a consumer market i mean uh, industrial market or simply industrial uh, buyers behavior industrial buyers behavior you know the behaviors of uh, industrial product buyers who are the industrial product buyers? The consumer market buyers are in individuals, families, households, and so on. Who is the buyers of industrial products? Private sector. Private sector. Government. Hospital. Government organization. Hospitals, dealers, educational institutes, there are a number of uh, business organizations. So in this case, what factors that affect the industrial buying the decision? When they make a decision to buy the product, so they have to consider different factors. One of the major factors is, you know, the uh, decision making unit. There are different individuals participate in the buying process. Different individuals. Can you tell me in one, either in government or hospitals or higher institution or educational institution that involves in buying the process? there are different units that participate in the purchasing process or buying the process. So which unit or which individual you know, participate in the buying process? Lemsale, and yet mert takwamatim soru, industrial buyer match, industrial product, where man hospital was Hospital Beach, where my government organization is Sifasam, Kagzus, Yemisata Foot, and Naman and Naman Natural. That's my question. Marketing the department. 
ማርኬቲንግ ዲፓርትመንት ብላችሁኛ ሌላስ ግጅ ውስጥ የሚሳተፍ ማለት ነው። ምን? ግጅ ውስጥ የማሁን ቀድሚ አቋጭ ኢንዱስትሪያል ፕሮዳክት አለ ኢንዱስትሪያል ፕሮዳክት ሲገዙ ድርጅቶች የግጅ ፕሮሰስ ላይ ወይም ውሳኔ ላይ የሚሳተፉ አካላት ምን ምን ናቸው? አንደኛው ማርኬቲንግ ብላችሁኛ ሌላ አካውንቲንግ አካውንቲንግ ዲፓርትመንት ማሽ ማኔጅመንት ያለው ሶ ቶፕ ማኔጅመንት ካን ፓርቲሲፔት ኢን ዲስ ሜኪንግ ቶፕ ማኔጅመንት ሶ ቶፕ ማኔጅመንት ኢስ ፓርቲሲፔትድ ኢን ዲ ዲሲዥን ፕሮሰስ ባይ አፕሩቪንግ ዲ ፐርቸዚንግ ዩ ኖ ፕሮሰስ አፕሩቫል ሌላስ ሌላ ኢን ኢንዱስትሪያል ባንክ ኦር ኢን ኢንዱስትሪያል ፕሮዳክትስ देयर आर डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल्स पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस आई मीन इन बाइंग डिसीजन वन मैनेजमेंट द अदर टेक्निकल टेक्निकल स्टाफ टेक्निकल so responsible for developing the product specification the product quality quantity and so on and the user departments you have mentioned you know accounting department marketing department and so on these departments are in user departments and there are also uh, purchasing unit within uh, this industrial uh, customers or buyers there are purchasing unit responsible for mobilizing the uh, purchasing process there are gatekeepers 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 uh, you know individuals participate in an inspection and receiving the products so there are different individuals so the decision process and you know, affected by you know the psychology makeup of these individuals psychological makeup of this individual you now the purchaser the top management the technical staff the gatekeeper there are different units participating purchasing the process so uh, the personal perception psychological makeup will affect you know the purchasing process the purchasing process there are also external factors like competitors the competition pattern will affect and the organizational culture itself will affect you know the buying process the buying process so in this case we'll discuss different factors that affect the decision so once we understood these factors so we can involve in you know the business buying the process the business buying the process this business buying the process you know, it starts from recognition or identification of the need the first process in organizational or in industrial buying process would be recognition or identification of the buying process the buying process and let me show you the buying process
So what does mean? You know, recognition or identification of need. Who is responsible to identify the need of you know, industrial product? Who is responsible? Yes, can you can you tell me who is responsible to identify the need of uh, industrial products? Top level management. Uh, top level management. Uh, okay, you know the need of uh, the purchasing the product. The top management maybe uh, anticipate the need of you know the organization and started to initiate the need or the purchasing process. Okay, top management. What about the others? Marketing department management. Marketing department. Marketing department. Uh, okay, since marketing department is, you know, the external public relations of any organization, you know, marketing department is responsible to contact and communicate, you know, the customers, identify the customers or the user's department, the user's department. What about the others? Sales team. Yes, yes. Sales department. Uh, okay, sales and sometimes marketing department is, you know, merged in uh, money, uh, industrial uh, custom market. What about purchasing department? Purchasing department itself. Yes. So in this case, there are three types of uh, purchasing uh, or three types of industrial purchase. Three. One, a new purchasing activity or new purchasing task. Sometimes uh, this purchasing or purchasing task or buying the task could start from identification of need to receiving the goods. There are you know, around seven steps in buying the process, around seven steps. So when we start to purchase, you know, for the first time, or when we start to purchase a new product, so we have to apply these seven steps, starting from recognition of need to uh, receiving the goods, the final stage. So the other could be a modified task types of purchase, modified. Once we purchase, you know, uh, we will develop a relationship between our company and the suppliers. So when we need, you know, further purchase, so we don't need to, you know, evaluate the product. We don't need to, uh, you know, develop specification and so on. So in this case, we may jump at least two or three steps. So in this case, we may uh, you know, pass at least five to three steps in modified task or modified uh, types of purchase. As the name implies, modified means simply we modify only the price or the quantity and so on. And the third types of purchase could be uh, old purchase or routine purchase. Routine purchase or repetitive purchase means 
when we purchase, you know, every time. We don't need to evaluate each supplier and so on. So we may refer only to a selected suppliers and only, you know, adjust the price and the quantity and we can purchase. So there are three types of purchase in industrial uh, products. So in this case, when we see the steps of the process, there are a number of activities need to be conducted, a number of activities. So the first activity could be, you know, uh, distribute or interview user departments to identify their purchasing need, compile the need of all user departments, and finally, we can uh, set or develop specification for each product using the technical stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, so let me share with the, uh, the process. So this is uh, the models of industrial buying behavior, which is a task model, which is a new task. Then tasked model, or this is a kind of uh, modified, which is when we purchase, you know, again and again in a selected suppliers. So we can only modify it the quantity and the price because the price may be changed as a result of you know, different factors. So in this case, once we understood the buying process, so we have to understand the influences or what factors you know, affect the buying process. So I will summarize this uh, new task, a new task purchase. This definitely starting from need recognition to receiving the information or the products. This, you know, uh, involves all buying process, all buying process. And the straight rebuy, straight rebuy is a kind of, you know, repetitive repetitive. The most common buying situation in industrial purchases is straight rebuy. It is when the buying firm simply buy on a repeated basis, on a repeat basis. So we don't need to select a new supplier in a straight rebuy. In modified, so we may sometimes modify a new task purchase for the second or third time or modified a straight rebuy. So in this case, so we can modify the price, we can modify also the specification and so on. So that's why it's a modified rebuy. So we may not uh, you know, select additional suppliers. We don't need to invite additional suppliers in modified rebuy. So, once we select a, uh, a new task purchase, so the identified suppliers are expected to provide products or services in a modified or improved way, which is you may reduce the cost or improve the quantity, or sometimes you may uh, improve the quality of the product in existing suppliers. So in this case, these uh, types of buy is most of the time you know, adapted by you know, uh, large organizations. And instead of you know, evaluating every time new suppliers, so once they develop or once we select suppliers, so we can repeatedly purchase by modifying the price, the quality, the quantity, and so on.
So different factors you know, determine different, which is around four factors we have to consider. Four major factors you know, are important to purchase you know, industrial products. One, the individual characteristics of you know, uh, the purchasers. There are different individuals participated in the purchasing process. So the characteristics of those individuals will affect the purchasing process. There are also interaction between these individuals. So they are a purchaser group. So in this case, group factor, you know, cohesiveness of the group will determine uh, the purchasing process. So in this case, organizational factors like the policy, the price, and so on will affect the purchasing process. The other, the fourth factor could be environmental factor. Environmental factor, simply the environment. You know the environment. The environment is, it could be external or internal. The availability of resource, the availability of, you know, social or legal rules, you know, external uh, environmental factor. This environment may be political environment, technological environment, social cultural environment, or you know the, the economic environment will you know affect the purchasing process. So in this case, we will discuss the details of each process. I mean, each factors. So. Industrial, I mean, individual character, you know, the characteristics of an individual. You know, the characteristic maybe depends on, you know, the personality of that individual. Someone may be running his personal interest in, I mean, within the organizational uh, buying the process, buying the process. Maybe uh, someone may be interested to get some uh, benefit from the process. So in this case, you know, the, this characteristic has you know an impact on the purchasing process. Let me say, Bian Sibas comes to discuss about such participation of the and the budget issues in the normal industrial purchasing in the normal. So let's see, let's search. Yang dah tu so, ia rasu nak bahari anda. Ya bahari aco, mungkin ya karakteristik aco, gizi influence yang ada buat. Dalam soalan tu, mana yang karakteristik ini mahu dicari? Mesti ni yang ada. Network kas kas yes personal kasari mana lah cun ya ya ah yes personal character ya terjitu ya gejuneta afek tiara gawal malah tu selesai mana yang character ini normalan tu so Conservative mi baso takalas conservative. Wen reserve di mana semua alat reserve. Eh malat, ya kis serah tu bica tak kertelan ni dia million ni cila. Anda anda dah mahu menarik bezost. Ya rasul tak ya mi Felix Olio ni cila. Menarik tak praktikal ya tak cukup ya terjit kis just. Musim naik besar tak kalah tu. Lain ni masalah tu. On the expense of those organisation, someone maybe wants to entertain his personal interest. 
external interest on the expense of the organization. Great Sabat process are low, Bishusi Kate, Sabat process are low. Let me jump right to the corner. Selezi, new task purchase in Bibalo Valadon, new task, Sabat process are low. Philagot and identify Tamara Jimbro, but owns Kamaka and Tras Malet. Lazi, Philagot identified the regard of Lagot Mosaret specification in regard. Specification called Abhana based on the specification, uh, solicitation of uh, web selection of suppliers, we carry that. Come on in the next zone. There are different criteria to evaluate the suppliers. So one of the criteria to evaluate the uh, supplier is the reliability of you know, the suppliers. Is it reliable to, you know, uh, continuously supplying the products? Reliability. So reliability test, marketability, there are different criteria. So in this case, someone may be playing a kind of role, you know, to select a wrong supplier. So in this case, you know, in return, you know, the supplier or insufficient or in reliable supplier they provide some benefit to those who selected within the process. So in this case, there is some problem within the process. So in this case, uh, a personal character is one of the major factor in industrial buying process. So the purchasing decision process in industrial market, so there is no single format. But this is you know, generally accepted process to purchase. So anticipation or recognition of problem or need identification. First we have to identify do we need the product? If yes, so we can proceed to the next. So in a straight rebuy, we don't need to you know, select new suppliers. So this step is important when the process is a new task or for the first time. So in this case, we have to identify you know, marketing opportunities, so we have to recognize and understand the customer's problem and so on. So we have to uh, recognize you know, the difficulties. So in this case, uh, who is responsible in this uh, need identification? All user departments in addition to the management. So once we anticipate or recognize the problem, so the next would be determine and description of the characteristics and the quality of the needed item. So we have to develop specification description of the product. Based on the description, so we can uh, you know, uh, evaluate the customer, I mean the supplies based on the description. We have to determine the quantity to be purchased and what type of quality to be purchased and you describe the quality and you know, the, the information. So we have to describe the products to be purchased. So once we determine the quantity, I mean the quality of the item to be purchased, we have to search for potential suppliers. So let's see the column. Men Magazat and Nalabet, Munanet quality, Magazat and Nalabet, Cost and Walla, Yemi Catalo, Ehim product, Lisa Ten, Wem Yakar Bulim Michel, the Benuchina Manacho Milon, Sarchina Regal. So when we search, there are different you know, criteria. Based on uh, the company's criteria, so we can select the potential or the possible suppliers of that product. 
Kota Islami. So, once we identified the possible suppliers, the next would be, you know, we have to request this potential supplier for the preparation of proposal. We have to request. So this, you know, the proposal or the bid. Proposal takalach? Proposal. When bid, chalatamale. So this suppliers submit their proposal. Proposal means simply the proposed price with the proposed quantity and the proposed quality of that product. So the purchasing department take this proposal and compare each proposal and with the cost of producing the needed item in house in make or buy analysis. So in this case, once they receive the proposal, compare the proposal and you know uh, make some analysis. Analysis in terms of cost of producing this product or cost of purchasing this product. Mm -hmm. If the item is economical, or if the company decides to purchase the product instead of producing the product, the next would be evaluation of proposal in terms of price. Most of the time, uh, once they develop the quality, so the proposal selected, you know, given different weight and analyze and select the source of supply. So most of the time, uh, delivery and the price would be, you know, a major factor for computing the suppliers, the delivery. And we have to negotiate with so most of the time in uh, industrial product, price will matter in you know, so selection of suppliers. So customers or suppliers providing with a list price, a list price will be selected and order would be you know, uh, placed for this selected suppliers. So we have to notify the supplier and send the order. So based on the order, the supplier will send the product and the storekeeper will receive and inspect each product, whether it is based on the order or not, based on the order. So in this case, once we receive we have to evaluate the suppliers. Evaluation of supplier would be you know, performance evaluation. So if you know, a supplier passes the performance evaluation, we can make a payment. The payment. And for the next purchase, we can make a modified task purchased once they you know, pass this type of uh, performance evaluation. So this is how to conduct industrial purchase process. There are, there are eight process, eight process. So this eight process is important and mandatory in a new task purchase, a new task. In modified and straight rebuy, this all eight may not be you know, necessary. You may jump the second or the third or sometimes the fourth and the, the fifth you can jump. So in this case, this is a purchasing process. So who involved in the organizational buying the process? This is 
five individuals or five units involved in the non bank process. I mean, six groups. Initiators. Who is initiators? Someone who initiated the bank process. The bank process for a new product. So this could be someone in a different uh, user department. So most of the time this is uh, someone at any level, at any level, can initiate the buying process. The user department, who is someone who has the need to purchase the products, different departments, like purchasing department, marketing department, or there are different functional areas within the organization that requires the products. So in this case, this user department involves in the buying process. Influencers, the individual inside and outside of the organization who influence the decision process. So in this case, this influencer also, most of the time this uh, usually technical expertise, engineers, quality control and so on. This individual should involve in uh, buying the process to check the quality, to inspect the, con I mean, the quality. Uh, deciders, this is top level management who is responsible to decide buying and not buying process. Once you know the purchasing process passes different stages and finally approved by top management. This top management is a decision maker. They can make a decision. So in this case, they are known as deciders. Deciders. Most of them they are high level executives. Executive means simply higher level officials. The buyers, this is you know. The purchasing department uh, personnel, the buyers. Someone in large organization, there are individuals responsible for purchase with qualification of purchasing and related things. This is the buyer. And the gatekeeper, this is someone responsible for storage of the product. So this individual you know, should involve in the buying process. So this is a little bit uh, short. So what motivates or the buyer's motivation? why industrial buying or industrial product buyers are not motivated. There are different uh, reasons. One, rational decision. The other could be emotional uh, motivation, rational motivation and emotional motivation. So rational motivations are you know, based on primary on economic basis because of Loss to price, receptory, technical assistance service, or certainty of delivery. Why industrial buyers, you know, uh, motivate to purchase the product since the product get a lost price, or the technical assistance, which means the suppliers may provide technical assistance for purchasing that product. Because of this reason, you know, this buyer could purchase the product. This is rational or the reason. So, emotional motivation. Factors are based on the buyer's impression, attitude, or, you know, emotional motivation. 
This as a result of the buyer's feeling, you know, opinion, attitude, or personal like. So sometimes the purchaser, if the purchaser like, you know, the organization, sometimes as a result of uh, this opinion or attitude of or impression of the buyer, so they can start to purchase the products. This is a result of emotion. Emotion is characterized by impression, attitude, opinion, or feelings. Or sometimes uh, the person's like or dislike. You may like or dislike someone. If you like someone, so you, you are going to purchase the product. So that's why nowadays, different organization develop purchasing or a salesperson, which is more attractive in the song. So in this case, uh, to conduct some emotional purchasing motivation or emotional motivation. So this is how organizational or industrial buyers behavior. So we have been discussed three types of buying uh, purchasing type, straight rebuy, modified, and new task, and the buying process starting from recognition of need to performance evaluation and feedback. There are different individuals participated or units participated in the purchasing process starting from the uh, initiators to the goalkeepers. Six units or six groups involved in buying process or six groups participate in the uh, industrial buying process. And the motivation why industrial uh, product or buyers are, you know, purchase the product. Why? The motivation of industrial buyers. There are two major motivation. One, rational. As a result of economy, as a result of price, as a result of, you know, different factors, you know, they start to purchase the product. Or because of the buyer's personality because of the buyer's opinion, because of the buyer's impression, they can also purchase the product. So in this case, we have to understand, you know, the motivations of buying industrial products, the motivation. So this is the motivations of industrial buyers. This is a little bit, you know, a narrow chapter, this chapter. So next time we'll see chapter four, which is a little bit, you know, familiar. I hope you may be familiar with, you know, market segmentation in consumer market. But this market segmentation is a little bit different in terms of uh, the criteria. You know, market segmentation, the process of dividing the total market into some smaller market. So in this case, we see different basis for segmentation, the macro level, medium level, or intermediate level, or at micro level, or at small level. There are three uh, basis for market segmentation, which is business market. So in this case, we will discuss this next time. If you do have any question, any question with regard to factors affecting industrial buying decision, there are four factors. Buying process, starting from need recognition to performance feedback. There are different roles played by different groups, initiators, deciders, gatekeepers, there are, you know, around six groups playing different roles. 
and marketing strategy, you know, in different phase of buying situation. No, there are three types of buying situation: a straight rebuy, modified rebuy, and a new task rebuy situation. So there are different strategies that are implemented in each step or in each types of purchase. And motivation of uh, buyers, business buyers, rational or emotional buyers. So any question with regard to this any question? ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው ዓለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራ ነው በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አስልጠናን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር ዓለም አቀፍ ቁና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ ቅን አለው አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እድ ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ህልሞን እሁል ያደርጋል